Welcome! In front of me I have Garmin Forerunner 965 and I'm gonna show you how to pair this watch with the iPhone. First thing we need to do is to turn on our watch. And you can turn it on by pressing and holding the uh, light button. Keep holding the button until you see the Garmin logo on the screen. And once you see the logo, you can release the button and wait until the watch is done booting up. And now um, I have a, a thing to mention. Basically, you can pair this watch with an iPhone in two ways. The first way is to do it through the setup process of the watch. So basically, if the watch is brand new or it's been reset to the factory default settings. And the uh, second way to do it is to do it through the settings after the watch has been already set up because you can set up a watch, this watch actually, uh, without pairing it with, uh, with a phone. So first I'm going to show you how to do it through the setup process and then I'm going to show you how to do it through the settings. Okay, and as you can see our watch uh, turned on and we have the list of languages on the screen. This means that the watch is brand new or it's been reset to the factory default settings. And we need to basically uh, set it up. And that's. And now I'm going to show you how to pair the watch through the setup process. Okay, so if you see the list of languages, find the language you would like to use on your watch and then tap on it. Uh, to select it. I think I selected the wrong language. Let's see. Yeah. Uh, so let's go back and select the English. Okay. And once you select the language, you will be asked if you want to pair your watch with a phone. We want to do that. So press the start button to confirm and the watch will enter the pairing mode. You can tell by the QR code on the screen. And now we need to download and install the Garmin Connect application on the iPhone we want to pair our watch with. So make sure you have the internet connection and Bluetooth enabled on your iPhone, of course. Then open the App Store. In the App Store, tap on Search, tap on the search bar, and type in Garmin Connect. And tap on Search. And you should see this application on the list, Garmin Connect. Tap on it to select it. Then tap on the Get button to download and install it. Okay, and once the application is done installing, we can tap on open to open it. In the app, you may see this pop up about the Bluetooth devices. Tap on allow if you see it, and then you will see the uh, login page. Maybe not login page, but basically we have option to log in or create an account. If you don't have an account, you can tap on create account button right here, make a new one and use it to log in. But if you have an account, tap on sign in and basically login into your account. I already have an account, so I'm going to tap on sign in. And here we're going to check the box, tap next. And then I'm going to enter the email address and password to log in. Okay. And after you log in, usually the app will start searching for the nearby devices almost immediately. Um, as you can see, we have another pop up about the permissions. This is for the notifications. So if you want to receive the notifications from your iPhone on your watch, you will need to allow this permission. If you don't care, you can deny it. And as you can see, the app detected our watch because if you don't have any devices connected to your account, um, it will basically start searching for the devices automatically. If uh, you do have devices connected to your account, you will need to uh, tap on um, more options icon in the app and tap on Garmin devices and then tap on add device. But I'm going to show it to you later. Okay. Now let's tap on connected if the app detects your watch. If you see this pop up, tap on pair. Allow or deny the permission for the notifications. Here tap on next. Right here we can set up a schedule for the sleep. And this is useful if you want to use the do not disturb mode during sleep, which basically mutes all of your notifications and uh, dims the screen during the sleep. Um, and when you wake up, it turns it off so you can use your watch normally. And you can tap on edit. And here you can tap on bedtime, set it to something you like. So basically the time on which you go to bed and the wake time is the time on which you go to, or rather which you wake up. And you can also select or check or uncheck the days on which the schedule should be active. And then you can tap on done and then tap on next. Here we can set our goals like, like uh, steps, uh, elevation, drinking, I believe, water and intake and stuff like that. Or you can tap on keep default goals to keep them default. Uh, actually, let me show you how to edit the goals. So to edit the goals, tap on edit 
and you can basically uh, select custom here and enter the amount of steps you want to take daily. Okay, same with the floors climbed and stuff like that. So you can tap simply on here and edit the values and then you can tap on next. Next, we have the full calendar access. This is useful if you want to receive the notifications about the events from your calendar on your watch. If you don't care, you can tap on escape. If you want to allow it, tap on allow and allow full access. Then we have the location permission. This is useful if you want to use features like local weather, um, uh, tracking your uh, route on the map while you're, for example, cycling, running and stuff like that. If you don't care, you can tap on skip. If you want to use this feature or features, tap on allow and tap on allow while using the app. Then we, we can tap on next, sync now, finish. And here we have a tutorial of the watch, but I'm just going to tap on skip to skip this, dismiss. And now you should see the home page. And on it, there should be the icon of our watch. And if you tap on more, Garmin devices. Oh, my bad, not settings. Um, Garmin devices, right here. You should see for a runner 965 on the list of devices. Of course, if you go back to your watch, you will see that the watch is ready to use. Okay, so that's how you pair the watch during the setup process. Now I'm gonna uh, disconnect it from our iPhone and we're gonna do it through the settings. Okay, go to settings on our iPhone. And remove it. Okay, so to pair our watch through the settings, we need to enter the pairing mode. So the watch is detectable. And to do that, we need to press and hold the uh, up button on our watch to open the menu. Then we need to scroll through the menu and find the option called connectivity tap on it. Here we need to tap on phone, then scroll down and tap on pair phone. And the watch will enter the pairing mode. And now you can download and install the application. And Garmin Connect application, of course, I already have it installed, so I'm just gonna open it. And of course you will need to log in, but I already am logged in, so I don't need to do that. But now I'm gonna show you how to uh, enter the, uh, or add the watch, uh, if you're already logged in. and. Um, the, the app is not looking for the devices automatically. To start detecting the devices, you need to tap on more, uh, Garmin devices, and tap on add device. And it will start searching and should detect your watch. Tap on connect it and basically do the same steps as we did it before. So pair, allow or deny, of course, you don't need to allow it. It's not required, but if you want to see the notifications, allow it Then tap next, the sleep time, the goals, sync, finish. Skip the tutorial. Not now. And you should see the icon of your watch. And if you go to Garmin devices, you should see your watch right here. And that's how you pair this watch with the iPhone. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving a like on the video.